This video is on optics of the human eye. So in my last video, I showed you how to calculate a lens prescription for my myopic eye. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate a lens prescription for my hyperopic eye. So in this example, this eye is hyperopic because it's shorter. It's only 21 millimeters long instead of being 22 millimeters. In a hyperopic eye, you can be hyperopic from a shorter eye, just like in this case, or you can be hyperopic from having a weaker cornea. The cornea is supposed to be 60, but if you have a weaker cornea, that can also cause the focal point to fall over here, or a combination of two of them. But in this case, the cornea is normal, but the eye is shorter. So you need a lens here. You need a positive lens prescription to push this focal point onto the retina. And there's a way to calculate that. And it's relatively simple. Uh, you do D equals N over R. N being the index of refraction inside the R, inside the eye, and R being 21 millimeters. So it would be D equals 1.333 divided by 0 0.02122 meters. You have to convert it to meters. So plug this into the calculator and you would get 62.8 two diopters. So this is what you need. This is what you need in order to put the focal point on the retina. So you need 62.82 diopters to put the focal point over here on the retina, but you only have 60. So that means you need another two point eight two diopters. That's why you put a lens. You put a lens on the eye, a t positive 2.82 diopter lens on the eye to make the focal point fall on the retina, therefore giving you clear vision. And that's your lens prescription. And that's it. That's how you calculate the lens prescription for a hyperopic eye. In my next video, I'll show you how to convert a contact lens prescription to an eyeglass prescription and vice versa. Okay, hopefully this helps.